Hey, Leah and Lon here. We're standing on the slide of the biggest obstacle course in the world, ABC's newest show, Wipeout. Lon, how do you feel? Yeah, Wipeout does have a very impressive obstacle course. Actually, I'm kind of winded just climbing the stairs to the slide here. If you want to go take a look around, I, I am. I'm just going to have a seat for a second. All right, well, I'm going to find a few people to interview. Let's learn more about this awesome new show. inspiration for coming up with this show idea? Well, I was the executive producer on Fear Factor, and my partner on this show, Scott Larson, who's the other executive producer on this show, also worked on Fear Factor. And we loved doing that show. We did 150 episodes, and after six years, it went off the air, and, and we were sitting around saying, okay, it's, it's been about a year, and the time's right for another big network stunt show. So we wanted a show that had kind of all the fun of Fear Factor, but none of the gross. So we came up with Wipeout. Explain a little bit about the structure of the show. We start each show with 24 people, and they're all shapes and sizes. You do not need to be an athlete to, to, to come and do the show. In fact, if you're an extreme athlete, we don't want you. So we really want kind of the average, average everyday person. Those 24 people do what we call the qualifier. It's a four-part obstacle. The fastest 12 advance to the next round. There's a big group stunt where all 12 do that stunt. That's called the sweeper. The last six standing move on to a, another round. Uh, and in that round, we go from six to four and then those four people come to the wipeout zone. And that's what we're going to see tonight. we're going to see tonight. So this is the control room. The director, Rupert Thompson, is right here. He's watching all of these cameras. There's probably, what, 10 point of view cameras. Today, I think he has okay, 10 regular cameras, so we have a total of 20 cameras. Right now, we're doing the rain test. So he's just looking at to make sure the lighting is right and that the cameras are all in the right position, the cameras aren't getting rained on and that we can actually shoot the show in the rain. So test that all out, and then we'll get the contestants out and shoot the show. And once the contestants are out there, it's a one-take deal, right? It's one take once they start the stunt. We never interrupt a stunt, but we do stop and go as we get them in and do a pre-interview and a post-interview and reset the, the actual apparatus. Like I said, we have to reset all the barrels. But once the contestant's up and we say go, unless there's a safety issue, we don't stop. Here now with the special effects coordinator, Caius Mann. Caius Mann, and he's going to tell us a little bit about coordinating the special effects. Uh, yep, well, that's what we're doing. I got uh, 16 guys here working, operating rain bars, fire effects, fans, uh, smokers. We've got about 65 different elements working the scene all at once. What's the most challenging element to work with? Oh, uh, actually, the fans have been the most challenging element, which it shouldn't be because these fans are 100 year old machines that are pretty much bulletproof, but for some reason our electricians, not so much making power for them. So that's been the biggest challenge so far. So Rich, you're the contestant producer here on Wipeout. So what, what does that entail actually? What is, what is your job? Uh, basically, I put together uh, all the shows, uh, get people from ages you know, 18 to 63, every different type of personality, because this game is all about personality. It's all about humor, it's about having fun. It's a show that you can watch and you just want someone to entertain you. That's what the show is all about. So can you tell me a little bit about the casting process? Like if I decided I wanted to be on season two of Wipeout, uh, what, what would I have to do to sort of get on the show? Uh, you'd go to ABC.com, you'd go into your, the casting section at the bottom and then you'd look for Wipeout. There's two ways to do it. Some, we do open calls in different towns and you can go to one of those. Otherwise you can submit uh, a video, like a five minute video. Uh, and there's an address that's provided in the thing that you would send it to. And you, the video is just, once again, it's you being you, you know, you and your element. Show that side of you that no one else has seen that you want to be on TV or something that your friends will find funny. Those are the things we look for. Now, what are you going to do with all this equipment when the show is over? Are you thinking about leaving this up and charging admission? We can have That's the brand new theme park in Southern California? Well, we're going to leave it up until we're ready to do the second season because we're, we're anticipating that we'll, we'll do well enough to have a second season. So we'll keep it up, keep it running, um, and then we can just kind of come in quickly. And, of course, we're going to change the sense. The fans are starting, so it's going to get really loud now. And I think you're probably going to start seeing leaves and stuff coming. But The we're... storm is coming. Ooh, I feel a little water. There it is. <laughs> For more information, go to mahalo.com slash wipeout.
I don't know about you, Lon, but I'm feeling a little wiped out. I'm really looking forward to when they reopen this as Southern California's newest theme attraction, Fracture Land. Right. All right. Well, if you like what you saw here today, be sure to rate and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. I'm Leah D'Amelio. I'm Lon Harris. We'll see you next time on Mahalo Daily. me an email says you got to get on that before we leave all right i'll just uh finish my coffee have three more of those cream puffs and put on my wetsuit we'll get this going <laughs>